the practice problems for division using the scaffolding algorithm. 6 into 348. Well, I know that 5 times 6 is 30, so 50 times 6 is 300. I have a remaining 48. And 6 times 7, I know, is 42. And I have a remaining 6. 6 times 1 is 6. Adding these up, 58. Now, if you saw that 8 times 6 is 48, 7 and 1 make 8, you get the same answer. Just took me one more step. 7 into 870. First of all, I'm going to go 7 into 800. It was 100 times. Each group of 7 now is 100, and I have a remaining 170. If I multiply by 10, I have a 70, and I have a remaining 100. It looks like I can multiply by 10 again. I have a remaining 30. And if I take 4 times 7, I get 28 with the remaining 2. Do the scaffolding. I add those, and I get 124 with the remainder of 2. The third problem, 24 into 492. Well, if I multiply 24 by 2, I get 48. So I'm going to put a 200. And 24 times 200, 2 times 24 was 48. So it's 4,800. Taking the difference, so I know how many I have still remaining to pass out to these 24 groups, I get 132. I can, let's see, if I multiply by 10, that's 240. Too many. I'm just going to take that 2 again because I already know that that's 48. When I take 132 from 48, I do my regrouping. So now I'm taking 8 from 12. Do my regrouping. And now I'm taking 4 from 12. I get 84. I'm going to try a 2 again. 48. Regroup. And subtract. I end up with 36. Looks like I can only take one more group in there of 24. Subtracting these, I get 12. So my answer would be the sum of the scaffold, which is 205 with the remaining 12. And the last problem, 32 into 9,980. Again, I'm going to try that 2 trick. 2 times 32 is 64. So if I put a few zeros on there, We'll move to the 1,000 places, so I get 6,400 by using 200 in each group. Subtracting, I have 3,584, so I know 200 is not going to work, but I believe 100 is going to work, which is 3,200. Remaining, I have 300. 84. And if I multiply by 10, I've now used 320. Remaining would be 64. And 32 times 2 is 64. There is no remainder. Adding up my scaffolding, 312 in each of the 32 groups totals 9,984.